What is going on, guys? We are here trying to buy some MLB Tops or Tops MLB Shop cards. Uh, so they have their new NFTs coming out today. As you guys know, there's the NBA Top Shots. They're a pretty popular thing right now. Uh, MLB is coming out and says, yo, we're going to get in the game too, and we're going to make our own NFTs. Um, so here we are. So today they're releasing their first ones. They've been having an absolute disaster of a release. Look at this site. This site right now, I just want to say first before we start anything, this site looks, this brings me back to like 1995, okay? There's just nothing to the site. It's very, very, very basic. Um, half of it's not even loading right now. Uh, here we go. There, they popped up. This is it. This is the whole site. This is what you get. Uh, there's no fanciness to it. There's no professionalism to it. There's just this. So anyway, you click the link. Nothing pops up. Sometimes something pops up. Sometimes nothing pops up. Uh, there should be two options here to buy a pack. There should be the $4.99 pack. And I believe it's like a $100 pack, something like that. The two options you saw up there. That's what you should see here. Nothing pops up. Um... This release is an absolute disaster. Um, you know, I'll tell you something, man. These kind of moments, this is these could make or break the brand, okay? Uh, people are coming on here. People are frustrated. Uh, I'm not a big baseball guy myself, so I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I was more, I just wanted to kind of get into it more as like an investment kind of thing. Buy a pack, sell the cards, see you later. Um, but, you know, there are people that would that, that would love to collect this stuff. You know, people are, are, are invested in this. People love this. This is their thing. People are baseball collectors, memorabilia collectors. Uh, you know, even if you're just getting into NFTs and you want to collect those or whatever it is, you're a sport collector, whatever it is. Um, you know, there is a market for this. It's just really sad to see because uh, the way the NBA did it, uh, it's phenomenal. Let's take a look at the NBA. Let's look, let's take a look at the NBA Top Shot. Look at this. Look at the professionalism of this site. Look at this. This is professionalism. And then you go to the baseball one, and this is what you get. This is it. This looks like it's just some random guy in the basement of his home is just put together some some website. You know, there's nothing to it. Look at that. This is the entire site. Yeah, you can pay a hundred bucks for this, uh, which gives you a 59% chance to get commons, 22% to get uncommons, 11% to get a rare, 2% to get a super rare, 0.56% to get an epic, 4.44% uh, to get epic exclusive, and 0.04% to get a legendary. Okay. Not bad. I mean, I get it. I get it. It's a business. They got to, you know, they got to have their, uh, it's a business. It's a business. Okay. With the, with the, uh, common, you're going to get a 78% chance to get a common high percent, uh, 16% to get an uncommon 4% to get a rare 0.83% to get a super rare and a 0.22 to get percent to get an Epic. Again, it's a business. I understand it. I get it. Um, they're going to make money on that because people are going to look at these numbers and go, well, hey, man, you know, I, I want this stuff. This stuff looks more appealing. And of course, of course it does. So very smart for them. I myself was just looking to get just a couple of these. And actually, the beautiful thing, too, is, guys, you can actually buy up to 10 packs if we could buy them, if we could buy them, because I was in there. The two options were there. Um, there was 50,000 packs of the, the common ones. I believe there was 20,000 or so, 20, something like that around there of the rare ones. And uh, I could, the thing was I could refresh and I, and I know a lot of people are having problems because I could refresh. There were still 48,000 packs. I'd refresh. There were still 48,000 packs. I'm trying to put in my information. I get back. There's still 48,000 packs. So I know everyone's having this problem right now. The, the few lucky people got through, uh, they've seemed to take down the site, uh, bring it back up. Uh, a few times people aren't being able to, aren't able to buy it i'm talking to a buddy of mine that's trying to get them to and he says he thinks he bought it he's not sure i thought i bought a pack i'm not sure i'd get i was getting errors while i was buying it an absolute disaster uh not a good look for tops look you refresh half the page doesn't even load uh you know i got good internet it's not that's not the case um you know it's just it's it's not a good look the professional look again look at look at this this is nba top shots beautiful job their their nfts are beautiful and then you see this. It's just not a good look. It's just not a good look. To me personally, it's not a good look. Um, professionalism, the fact that it doesn't even work, that, that's a problem. That's a problem. Uh, the fact that it doesn't even work is a problem. Anyway, um, here you have it. MLB tops. 
<laughs> NFTs. Uh, this is it. This is what you get. So, uh, yeah, for those that are looking to collect it, good luck. Uh, I personally, myself, was not looking to get deep into it anyway. So I'm not too overly, overly concerned. I was going to buy a pack, maybe flip them. Um, you know, just see what happens with them kind of thing. I'm not too invested. But the NBA Top Shots... Uh, to me, that's where it's at. I'm really enjoying these. I'm really into them. I do have my LeBron. You want to? You know, there's a. I do have my LeBron James uh, car uh, moment in there, and uh, I'm loving that. I'm absolutely loving that. But anyway, so guys, uh, here you go. Uh, if you want to hit follow, uh, yo, hit that follow button, hit that uh, like button, and leave a comment. Let me know. Are you looking to get into MLB? Are you into NBA Top Shots? Are you looking to get into the UFC when they come out and all the other ones? Which ones are you looking forward? to getting into because um you know i'm really into the nfts i also do stream every day guys on a site called twitch twitch.tv slash capone gaming i'll put the link below come check us out come hang out we got a good squad we talk nfts uh we talk crypto we play games we have fun you know uh come by see what's up i'm out of here peace